What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Blaster Masters. Um, I bring you guys an unboxing and review of the Nerf Cam uh, ECS-12. I bought this blaster but I have no interest in the camera whatsoever so I'm really not going to get into any details about the camera. Camera sucks. Let's just put it that way. The camera lens, the quality, the audio, it all sucks. I'm not even going to bother. I bought the blaster because I thought the blaster looks kind of cool. Um, I, I will want it to be part of my collection, but I am not interested in the camera, so I'm not even going to bother reviewing that part. If you guys want to review that part, if you guys are interested in the camera, uh, I just have to say go check out somebody else's uh, unboxing and review of this product. But... I would just get the rail attachment for your phone or i device. But yeah, anyways, uh, here's the. It's a pretty big box. Here's the built-in camera. Um, I've already opened it. I guess I got kind of anxious and happy about it, and I already ripped off the box. You guys can see there's many areas that are ripped, but I just wanted you guys to see what it looks like on the box and how it actually came. Comes with a four gigabyte SD card. Uh, you can take stores up to two thousand photos or a hundred minutes of video. Uh, records and share videos and photos right here. That's what it says. It's an N-Strike Elite. It's part of the XD series uh, that shoot uh, a little bit farther than the regular Elites. That's what it claims, at least uh, eighty-five feet. Comes with a uh, twelve Elite darts and a uh, twelve round clip oh yeah and I'm dropping stuff already but yeah here's the clip which comes in it I got a few darts loaded in it already just for uh, demonstration comes with the cover for the camera or not it's really not a cover it just kind of blocks the shade the, the light of the Sun um, see Comes with your instruction manual. The back here's the back of the box. Points out key features about the camera, built-in camera to record your battles, record any play videos, take battle photos, 4 gigabyte memory card. Here's a little performance chart of uh, 80 to 90 feet, 71%, 20 feet and under, 29% and everything in between you know acceleration trigger so it's a uh, it's kind of like a strife just a uh, bigger size i'm not gonna say it's like a rapid strike because the rapid strike is a full auto blaster and this is not uh the rapid strike uh has way many more uh rails and this one does not this one has an equivalent amount of rails as the strife it comes with a 12 round uh, clip, shoots elite darts, motorized dart blasting, tactical rail on the top, tactical rail on the bottom. Yeah, some more good stuff. Uh, power up with uh, AA batteries, not included. It uses eight of them. Uh, eight of them, that's a lot of batteries. And I am glad I have no interest in the camera because I do not play plan on wasting four batteries on the camera itself uh, there's a cover here you put four batteries here and then another one over here so one's for the camera one's for the blaster you get a jam door here on the side you get your little camera and camera controls here on the back of the blaster uh, it comes with an iron side but you can't really use it because it's blocked by everything else in here your camera is right here in the front, that little dot right here. It says Elite. It's a white and blue scheme color. Real nice. Uh, this blue does not match with any other Elite blue. I gotta say that, point that out. This is not detachable, but I'm sure modders, if you really wanted to, you'd find a way to cut this and attach another kind of stock in here. You get a sling mount here here 
and that's it because you don't have one in the front you get your tactical rail on the bottom you get no front attachment barrels um, this little uh, mag release button seems <laughs> pretty pretty small you guys can see that that thing is like tiny but yeah uh, I'm gonna put the clip in it with six darts it looks like I'm gonna put the little uh, light sunlight cover goes right here on the top such I mean you can flip it up and down but it really ne it's never gonna completely block the screen so if you thought it would be uh, good use to use it as to cover the screen it's not gonna happen um yeah you got some ugly little buttons. Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna get a screwdriver, put some batteries in it, and we'll see what happens. Uh, screwdriver right here. Got a little one. Does it work? No. Yeah, it does. So I'm not sure which one uh, operates the blaster, the one on the left or the right. So I'm just gonna have to try one first and then the other if it doesn't uh, operate the blaster because I just want to operate the blaster I don't care about the camera so I got four rechargeable energizer AA batteries and it does not appear to be doing anything so I'm gonna take them off I'm gonna try the other side. Uh, yeah, I like I like using AA batteries. I'm not a big fan of the DCs or anything like that. I like simple AA's because I have tons of them. I bought a big lot of Energizer rechargeable batteries on eBay a while back. Like a big, big lot of them. Okay. So, time to blow the other side and see what happens so it's not revving at all I don't know why maybe I should try different batteries perhaps I'm gonna recharge these batteries real quick and I'll be back with you guys. All right guys, I'm back. I got the batteries charged, got them inside the blaster. And I guess it's time to give you a little fire demonstration. Now let me say, this thing is real quiet. I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing, but it's very, very quiet. You got a nice little grip here in the front, so it would be a horizontal grip, you know. Feels really, really nice. The size of the stock is pretty good, actually. You know, not too small, not too big. Some people would prefer it bigger. Uh, children, I don't think children would want it any smaller than this. I think this is ideal for them and yeah uh, let's give you a little quick demonstration I'm gonna be uh, aiming towards the target and that's seven darts so yeah uh, didn't seem very impressive at all um, I think it's comparable to a uh, strife but it does claim better ranges so I don't know I, 
guess as soon as this winter's gone, I'll probably go outside and test them side to side. Um, I don't. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this blaster for modifications. Uh, maybe just uh, increase the voltage. Uh, maybe get rid of the camera. Put a ammo counter. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see what the future brings. But yeah, that was my unboxing and review of the Nerf Elite Cam. So comment down below wherever your thoughts are. Uh, if you guys like what you see. Comment, like, subscribe.